By now, you know that cancer is on the rise, specifically breast cancer and cancers of the skin like melanoma. Now, how you sleep and what you sleep on may influence the co-occurrence or the prevalence of cancer. I know that sounds a little weird. In today's session, we're going to talk more about your bedding and the side that you sleep on. This is an article that Jack Cruz shared on Facebook, and I read it uh, over in Science Magazine. The title here is Left-Sided Cancer, Blame Your Bed and TV. Now, I know a lot of you, I've seen your comments with when we talk about EMF and cell phones and Wi-Fi, and you immediately say, what's the mechanism? How can we prove this? And so in today's session, I want to share this with you. And something that I've done a long time ago is I got rid of those funky box springs that go under your mattress. And as this article talks about, those box springs can actually be a conducer of EMF that might predispose individuals to have a higher co-occurrence of breast cancer and melanoma on the left side of their body. Now, I know some of you are like, this is crazy, Mike. What are you talking about? So let's get into the article. And thank you, Jack Cruz, for sharing this. Curiously, the cancer rate is 10% higher in the left breast than in the right. This left side bias holds true for both men and women, and it also applies to the skin cancer melanoma. So you're like, why would cancer have a higher co-occurrence on the left side? You might be wondering. Researchers at the uh, Hallberg Independent Research Institute in Sweden, writing in the June issue of the Journal of Pathophysiology, suggest a surprising explanation that not only points to a common cause for both cancers, and it may change your sleeping habits. This is what's important. Okay, so what they say is an intriguing clue comes from the Far East. In Japan, there is no correlation between the rates of melanoma and breast cancer as there are in the West, and there is no left side prevalence for either disease. Moreover, the rate of breast cancer in Japan is significantly lower in the West, only 3% of what is seen in Sweden, for example, the rate of prostate cancer in Japan is only 10% of that in the UK and the US. Now you can point to dietary causes and all these things, but again, there's no left side bias of melanoma and breast cancer. So the researchers suggest an explanation based upon differences in sleeping habits in Japan and Western countries. Previous research has also shown that both men and women prefer to sleep on their right side. I don't know about you, but I, I'm definitely a right side sleeper. And the reason for this, they say, is unclear. However, but sleeping on the right side may reduce the weight stress on the heart, and the heartbeat is also not as loud when you're sleeping on uh, the right side compared to the left. Um, but there, there are still no reason to suspect that people in Japan sleep in positions that are any different from any other parts of the world, including uh, us in the West. However, the beds in Japan are different. The futons used for sleeping in Japan are mattresses placed directly on the bedroom floor. And again, I do this in my master bedroom. My daughter has a bunk bed, but what's important here is it's made out of wood. That importance is what we're going to talk about right here because they say the first line of evidence they cite comes from a 2007 study conducted between the years of 1989 and 1993 that revealed a strong link between the incidence of melanoma and the number of FM and TV transmission towers covering the area where the individuals lived. Despite the epidemiological correlations like this one suggested that the possibility of EMF radiation from the FM and TV broadcast stations could suppress the immune system and promote cancer. Now, here's where it gets a little woo-woo for some of you. You're going to be like, all right, I'm unsubscribing to this channel. This guy's a nut job. Well, it turns out that metal is a conducer of EMF. And so if you're sleeping on metal, you are essentially conducting and, and sort of uh, attracting these non-native EMFs from Wi-Fi, from TV towers, from cell phone towers, and the like. Now, the scientists want to say that even a TV set cannot respond to broadcast transmissions unless a weak electromagnetic wave are captured and amplified by an antenna. Antennas are simply metal objects of appropriate length size to match the wavelength of a specific frequency of EMF radiation. Just as a saxophone is made in different sizes to resonate with and amplify particular waves of sound, EMF waves are selectively amplified by metal objects that are the same half or one quarter of the wavelength of an EMF wave of a specific frequency. Here's what's where it gets really fascinating because in the US, bed frames and box springs are made of metal, shocker, and the length of the bed is exactly half the wavelength of FM and TV transmissions that have been broadcasting since the 1940s. In Japan, most beds are not made of metal and the TV broadcast system does not use the 87 to 108 megahertz frequency used in Western countries. Thus, as we sleep on our coil spring mattresses, we are in effect sleeping on an antenna that amplifies the intensity of broadcast FM tower radiation. Asleep on these antennas, our bodies are exposed to the amplified EMF radiation for a third of our lifespan. 
As we slumber on a metal coil mattress springs, a wavelength of EMF radiation envelopes our bodies so that the maximum strength of the field develops 75 centimeters above the mattress in the middle of our bodies. When sleeping on the right side, the body's left side is thereby exposed to a strong field size about twice as strong as what is seen on our right side. So if this study is correct, this, the solution is simple. Replace the metal in our beds with non-metallic mattresses or orient your bed like an antenna away from the direction of the local FM TV transmission tower. Call it high-tech feng shui, if you will, but there is this new study that has not yet identified the cause of left-sided cancer. It will, for some, be the cause of insomnia. Really interesting stuff. Now, I know some of you are like, whatever, man, I don't care about my box springs. I get it, but at the same time, it's a low and low cost endeavor here. I mean, you can. I went to Home Depot and built my daughter's bed uh, out, out of wood. Um, I think it was like eighty nine dollars in in um, untreated cedar. I mean, you can do this for a low cost, and um, I think it's quite interesting. I mean, the scariest diagnosis in the world would be cancer, right? I mean, I think that's inarguable. Whether it's melanoma or breast cancer or prostate cancer or lung cancer or colon cancer, I mean, if your body, if in fact there is any hint of evidence to this and your body is an antenna and you're sleeping on box springs, think about are those box springs worth a potential cancer diagnosis, even if this evidence is only 5% correct? Probably not. So the solution is simple. As they say, replace your metal box spring with wood. This is feasible for many of us, low cost. You can Google how to build your own bed frame on YouTube, and there's a ton of tutorials about how to do it with wood. So I think this is fascinating stuff. I want to thank Jack Cruz for sharing this. I want to thank you for watching all the way through. Thanks for sharing this video. Thanks for leaving a comment, and we'll catch you in a future episode down the road. Bye now.